Oh, there goes the inventor. Right. As you can see by the title, what makes a lone wolf? What makes you a lone wolf? Truly fears anything can make anybody a lone wolf. Um, I class myself as a lone wolf for one reason because I know I'm horrible enough, and if anything happens, I know to start off with I will be alone. Uh, I live alone. I don't. I live with Dopey Dog, of course, but you know what I mean. I live. I'm the only human, and um, I have no partner. I have a close knit group of friends, but they all have families, partners, and like that. Yes, we have all discussed some of it. A lot of them have said that if they can, they want to be supported with me helping them and then me helping and them helping me and we'll all work as a team. But when it comes down to it, we all live in different areas. We all have different plans. To me, personally, my plan is to get out before it gets serious. Before anything really, really gets serious, I want to get out and go. There is no way, no but, no if, no buts on that. So, I could be on my own for say three or five weeks, or maybe even longer, maybe six, seven months. It all depends how long this situation could happen. And yeah, so you could have that, or you could be in a group, and your group could be working together, and then all of a sudden your group could be disbanded, or you could have an argument with the person that within within the group. What makes you more self-isolating on your own? Anything can happen in that situation. That's the reason why I've said to my friends, if we are going to go in a group, if we are going to meet up, there's not going to be a leader. It's going to be group decisions. Because if there's a leader, then that means that person could be a dictator. What could make one person that person don't like, because there's always going to be someone in that group, someone not really keen on. And that person, like say, for example, me, could be shadowed out and put as a lone wolf and then that one person could be had to do everything just for himself or herself and I do believe and I'm not being horrible I'm not being sexist when I say this I do honest truthfully believe for a female lone wolf it'd be twice as hard than a man and I'm not saying because of they can't do things. I know plenty of women who are better and stronger than men, and they do a lot more than men. But I'm talking about because of gangs of men. Gangs of men receive single lonely women, and they'll gang up on them. So, yeah, it's crazy things. It's crazy talk. But being a lone wolf, to me personally, would be a little bit easier than being in a group. And as I said, what makes a lone wolf? Anything can happen, anytime. You could be you could be in a relationship with your partner. This um, anything can happen, and your partner goes, "Whoa, nope, I'm going with them." You can be on your own. And if you say, can I join you? And they go, nope, just her. Or nope, just him. It could be anything what could set this off. So remember, guys, if you're in a group, apart from the family network, of course, because family networks will stick together. But if you're in a friends network, anything can happen at any time. I don't like to say it like that, but it's the truth. Like you could have someone not pulling their leg or their, their weight on their stuff on their things, what they're meant to do. So they might go, all right, see you later. We don't want you anymore. Or you might have a discussion of six or seven people working inside of a group. 
where they go, right, we we get rid of him, we basically go over here and we walk over here, we we we, we lose him. Because that happens sometimes as well, sadly. Anything can happen when to become a lone wolf. So don't think that automatically if you're in a group, that's it, you're safe. Unless you're in a family network group, then that's different. But if you're in a friend network, then you're not safe. And you might know these friends for the donkey's years, but you're still not safe. I'm sorry. But that's just my opinion. This is all my opinion, guys. So, yeah. Right, I'm leaving it here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm hoping this makes sense. I'm hoping it doesn't really sound like I'm babbling about certain things. So, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.